hi guys welcome back to my channel um so today's gonna be a long one just because i have a lot of unboxing blind bags um and the wind is going crazy outside of my parents house so bear with me because it feels like a tornado is gonna come through um okay so whatever you need to do pause the video grab something to drink it's gonna be a long one um <laughs> I should probably fair warn in every one of my videos if it's going to be a long one or not, and I will try to do that. So let's jump right on in. So I have a few things, Amazon, Ulta, Walmart, Five Below. Um, so I'll share all those things first, and then we'll get to unboxing. Okay, so first, let's start with the Amazon. So I got partial of this yesterday and partial of it yet um, today. Um, so one thing I do doubt my car already, um, it's the, uh, hair remover brush thing, like from your cars or the, um, the rugs or something like that. I knew you guys know what I'm talking about. It's all over TikTok. <clears throat> it works phenomenally. Like I like it. Um, also grab some, or not grab, <laughs> ordered some castor oil. Um, I want to try this on my brows. Um, that's all I really want to try it on, um, because my brows... I want a little thicker than what they are now. Shh, 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 shh. Shh. I, I'm doing a video. Not, not about you. <laughs> um, so we're going to try that. So this is uh, the Viva Naturals Organic Castor Oil. Um, pure and fragrance free. Cold press. Nature's en emolument. Enmol yeah, correct me. Uh, for hair, skin, and nails. Blah, blah, blah. So I think this was like 11 and some change on Amazon. So we're going to give that a try. Um, and then, um, because I don't, don't come at me. I don't have Amazon Prime. So of course I have to get like orders of like 25 or more for free shipping. So this was in my, um, my cart. These are for when I journal. Um, these are journaling tweezers, if you will. Um, these were cheap enough. They were like five and some change to make it over. $25. So it's a two pack. Uh, you got the straight, straight tweezers, and then you got the slanted curve um, tweezers. Um, but yeah, so I like to journal a lot. Well, I need to get back into it because I've just been so stressed here lately. That probably would help my stress, but it's all in Florida right now because it's all packed up in a storage unit. So I got that to make it over 25 Okay, so from Ulta, I had to do an exchange. Um, I was using the, uh, is it We, Way? I don't know how you pronounce it. Q-U-A-I, I think, uh, for the thin hair, because my hair is thin. Um, I didn't like it. I, I did not like the product. I couldn't get over the smell. Like, the smell, it just reminded me of, of an old lady, like my grandma shampoo, and I just could not do it. Could not do it couldn't do it look at this <laughs> so i went back to old faithful which is olaplex um i know a lot of people are like why um you know there's so much controversy on this uh, yeah um i like it i haven't had a problem with it um it makes my hair feel amazing i can style my hair the way i want to um i've, I've had no complaints I truly love this stuff, um, and it's not only me that I like it, my boss that I was working for, and I quit for, she was amazing, she uses nothing but Olaplex, so she likes it too, I don't know, it's like tit for tat, everybody hates it, everybody loves it, I love it, and I had stopped probably about, I don't know, <clears throat> about a little more than half a year, I guess. Now, I had stopped completely getting drugstore shampoo and conditioner because I was tired of, like, it not working for my hair or making my hair too oily or making my hair too dried out, whatever the case may be. I just, I was like, I'm tired of spending money on drugstore shampoo. So, this was actually the first one I tried, and I fell in love with it. I did try a couple others. I just kept reverting back to Olaplex. Um, so, yeah. I love it. Come at me, bro. I don't care. So, um, that actually made, with my return and everything, um, 
and my rewards made it only 20 bucks for those two so i was like hello okay so walmart right yeah let's go to walmart okay so i needed a soap dish nothing fancy here 97 cents um just for my face soap that i got yesterday um, I also seen a pack of the facial cleansing pads. Now, if you remember yesterday's video, I can't use these at all, but my husband loves them. And he said he wanted a pack, um, and I couldn't find them there, so they were in the travel section. So I got him a pack of those. Um, and then some blind bags. I did get, <laughs> I did get another mini Bratz because I loved it yesterday. And I did get the Good Luck Bear from the Care Bears collection. Um, I think that Walmart just has nothing but good luck bears because they only have the chair bear, cheer bear, and the harmony bear. They didn't have the laugh a lot bear and they barely had any of the grumpy bears. So I did get the good luck bear. I think he's cute. So add him to the collection. And then I've had my eyes. <coughs> <coughs> I've had my eyes on these for a long time and I just could not imagine paying ten dollars for it but when I paid ten dollars for this mini brats thing I guess I was like oh well I guess it doesn't matter now because the whole reason why I went to Walmart is because yesterday they charged me for two bags of dog food and I only had one I was like mm, no so kind of exchanged it for all of this kind of thing um and I needed a baby gate so I got the zombies forever blind bag they're There's 10 to collect. <laughs> um, I'm kind of excited about this. So we'll open that too. I might do a separate video. We don't know yet. Um, also, I got a baby gate. Pretty standard, typical baby gate. You've seen them once. You've seen them all. Um, needed to get a baby gate for my parents' basements because uh, they have a split foyer. So in their basement area is where like there's one room where it's nothing but the cat boxes and um, the uh, cat food bowls and like water fountains and stuff like that. Because my mom has a lot of older cats, she can't put the cat bowls on top of something so the dogs can't get to it. Um, so I have to keep my dogs out of it because they'll eat all the cat like the cat food and if they really want to get super appetizing they'll dig into the freaking cat boxes too disgusting so in order to prevent that because my the older cats can't jump up or anything i don't want them to jump over it but i want to lift it off the ground enough where they can slide under it but none of my small dogs can slide under it either so that's why i got a baby gate okay okay so five below i'm already mad so i got this thing and i was going to use it today frilling this um and it sucks um <laughs> So this is the far <coughs> fart, the smartphone tripod with selfie light. Um, it's it's not worth it, people. It's not worth the five dollars and twenty five cents. Since when did five below become five and above? Anyways, um, it's very cheap. Um, it does not hold my phone at least. Um, and I don't like the like long ways versions of my videos. And that's all I could do because obviously my phone ain't going to fit even with it. Ex ex yeah, no. Um, I just need to invest in a good tripod for my phone. Um, I need to stop with the cheap. I am not happy with this at all. Um, I don't know what their return policy is, but I might return it or exchange it for another blind bag because Lord knows I got enough blind bags here. So, yeah, I did not like that at all. Um, so... I'll put that in there later. So, my, no, don't get it. Okay, so we got blind bags. Kind of went a little overboard. Um, okay, so I got another Magic Mixy cauldron thing. I don't know how much they were at Walmart yesterday. I had to look, but this was five. Five dollars exactly. Um, so we'll open her. And then we got the Zuru 5 Surprise Series 4 Mini Brands little blind package here. Then we got the Real Littles, um, like the Shopkins version, but I don't think they're called Shopkins anymore. Uh, Real Littles, Things You Love Made at Micro, Micro Mart. So we got a little line bag here. That was $5. The little mini brands, I think, is $5 too. Um, the Disney Doorables, Let's Go. This is the luggage pack. 
includes Let's Go, two Let's Go figures. Uh, this is series one. So we'll open her. This is another Disney Dorable. I think this was on, these were on clearance because I think the yellow tags was clearance. I don't know. I could be totally wrong. Anyways, uh, so this is the Disney Dorables uh, series eight. And find the special scented edition. Okay, so yeah, so we're gonna open her. Then out of the corner of my eye because I I don't like really look and be like, mm, do I really want to like get this? But I love Sailor Moon. I used to love Sailor Moon. Um, I still do. I'm not a huge fan because obviously I don't know all of their names. But I do want. I did at one point, but now I don't. Um, so I got a little Sailor Moon keychain blind bag. And then I am not a fan of Hello Kitty at all, but I did see somebody else haul some of these and I thought they were pretty cute. Um, so I was like, why not? So this is the Hello Kitty collectible minifigure in series two. So we'll open her up and find out. Okay. What should we do first? Let's do the zombie one. Okay. Here goes nothing. Oh, 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 please don't tell me this is a water freaking thing. I hate water ones. Oh, there's so many to collect. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, I'm intrigued. Okay, so we got some stickers here. And then we got like a little mystery pack here. Mystery pack. And I'm assuming this is the doll. And then... I don't know, like a warning thing. And then here's the inside of the bed. Pretty groovy. Pretty cool. Okay, so which one should I open first? Let's open this one. So I know this is the doll. So. Okay. Oh, she got eyelashes. Okay. Can you actually take off their legs? You can. But I'm not going. Oh, oh shit. Lost her hair. She got a little brain in there. That's pretty weird. Okay, so here she is up close. Little heels on. Okay, so um, I'm gonna be honest, not impressed so far. I don't know why. So we got a little stand. A little stand for her. We got a little crown. And it looks like a skirt. Okay, oh, is this a belt? Oh, it's a sash. Okay, Miss Everlasting. Okay. Okay, so I'm not impressed, but okay. Okay. Apparently you can mix them. Okay, what is this? So this is apparently the the sticker? The card? The collectible card, maybe? That goes on top of the thing. Okay, so here she is. Miss Everlasting. Okay, okay. What she likes and what she doesn't like. Okay, so she likes, like, jewelry and flowers. And she doesn't like... I don't know what the hell that is. And snakes. It's a little holographic. <laughs> Cute. I'm kind of, Okay, I'm kind of liking it. I'm kind of not. I have mixed feelings about it. So let's put her... Oh, yeah, she... Her little leg is falling off here. So let's put her in her little skirt. Okay, now her little crown and her sash, which I probably really, oh, I can remove the head. <laughs> can you remove the head? No. Damn. Okay, so I'm not going to put the sash on. Right, I have to put the sash on. God bless it. So let's put the sash on first. Okay. Gotta put the sash on first. And then her skirt. Why is this so complicated for me? Jesus. Okay. We gotta put her weave back on. <laughs> yes, girl. Yes, beesh. Yes. Okay. All right, 
She doesn't have any flowers or anything. Which kind of sucks. Oh, I guess her, her flowers are stickered. Okay, so here she is. Final results. I'm not impressed. I think I'm more impressed with the cartoon version than the animated version, if you will. Um, animated. That didn't make any sense. <laughs> Grass, what are you doing? I'm impressed with the cartoon artwork version instead of the doll version. So, not worth $10, but... I would say I would give it I would say a 5 out of 10 honestly I would say a 5 out of 10 a good solid 5 out of 10 for this I think that's fair so yeah and then when she goes to sleep she just goes right back in here or to bury her if you will so she could rise from the ground again. Okay, so I'm kind of disappointed in that one, but would I get another one? No, five out of 10. Okay, let's do another Bratz one. Okay, so I got two actual Bratz dolls yesterday. Oh, hey, that's so much easier to open than I was struggling yesterday. So I was very happy, so I hope I don't get a double. I am the queen of fucking doubles though. Oh, looks like I got another, I got another two, like dolls. Let's hope they're not the same ones, because they're the same ones, so help me God. Oh, no, I got a Barbie rocker! Actually, this is one of the rock angels that I actually kept. Not her. This is Yasmin. Did I say Jasmine yesterday? Is there a Jasmine? No. The Jasmine is... Where is Jasmine at? I don't know. But this is Yasmin. Which rock angel did I have? Maybe it was Yasmin. Yeah, I think it was Yasmin, maybe. I don't know. I can't remember. So cute. Oh, I love these little things. These are so cute. <clears throat> oh, this is the Jade um, in the Tokyo in Japan. She is so cute. So cute. I'm in love with these. I will say a 10 out of 10. Are they worth ten dollars? No, but um, yes, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do like these a lot. Um, I think they're cool as hell. Okay, moving on to five below. Which one first? Which one first? Let's do because it's so random. Let's do the Sailor Moon. Oh, I got the little kitty. Can't remember his name though. Oh, I like how they put these in here so you can't feel what it is. Trifling. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. Um, can you tell me what his name is? Because I have it on the tip of my tongue, but it's just not coming out. <clears throat> but yeah. Cute. Ain't she cute? Sailor Moon cat. That I don't know the name of because I'm terrible. Would I buy that one again? Um, I think I would because I do like the rest of the collection. <clears throat> like, I would like the rest of the collection. So, would I buy these again? Yes. Rate it out of 10, I would say, I would say a 7. I think it's worth a 7. Yeah. Okay. Don't ask me how I come up with these numbers. Let's see. Let's do the Hello Kitty. Oh, I'm coming up on 20 minutes. If y'all are still with me, y'all are troopers. Okay, here we go. So these are what you can get. I don't really care. I think all, no, take it back. I would love the burger or the donut one. That's bad. But I would. And of course I didn't get that. I got the, the stupid unicorn one. I'm so over unicorns. It's not funny. But, I mean, she's so cute. Would I buy these again? Yes, because they are actually a lot cuter than I'm holding it in my hand. Um, so, would I buy it again? Yes. Uh, rating, I would say an 8 out of 10. Yeah. 
I think I would buy those again. Okay. Real little is up next. I see me as a Dollar Tree like maybe a month ago, and I regret not buying all of them right then and there. Okay, so we only have one. And we got the Klondike Crunch Bars ice cream. Cute. I love this stuff. Okay. I used to have these for my Barbies. And it would be so cute. Like, the, I just keep it for the boxes. I didn't care about the little Shopkins. But I just kept it for the boxes. <laughs> oh, but that is the joy of imagination. Is you can do whatever the hell you want. And design it however you want it. Okay, so, so here is the collector's guide. The jello packs are so freaking cute. Oh my god, the ready whip is so cute. Look at those. Look at those. Uh, oh, there is so much. Mm. Jesse, we might be collecting these again. Alright, so let's go with the mini brands then, since we're on the same path. Oh, wow. We got a lot. We got four things. Am I supposed to get four things? Oh, three minis included plus money. Okay. Oh, I like the little safe. Okay, so I got dollar dollar bills, y'all. Oh, my God. And they're actually dollar bills. <laughs> so cute. So, what I use for Barbie money, like, because Barbie did come out with, like, Barbie money, like, back in the day. Um, so, of course, I would have that, <laughs> but <clears throat> I would go to, like, the party section, and I would find the money confetti <laughs> and get the money confetti and make that more money for my Barbie. So. Okay, so we got a box of Giants Otter Pops in the original flavor. Um, call me, like, stupid, but I've never even heard of these or seen these or ever even had them. Um, so, let me know where they're at then we got a, a pack of the ramen instant lunch beef flavor noodles or not ramen but whatever cute that's actually a really good barbie size and then we got a big old bottle of the little critters gummy vites multivitamin for the little kiddos that's a really good size too i'm actually very impressed oh my god they also have makeup too I am really impressed with those. The safe cracks me up. Like, I would love... To, oh, my God. The safe. The credit card reader and... The, get out. We're collecting these. 10 out of 10. Would buy again. Hands down. Okay. Alright. Dizzy Dorable. Alright, I don't have a smelly one, apparently. Maybe that little collector bag. I did get two. Oh, I got the... Is this Turning Red, I think? I've never seen that movie yet. So, the little fox from Turning Red or Bear, whatever it is. So, I haven't seen that movie yet, but... I don't even know who this is. Who is this? Okay, apparently I've never seen this movie either. Who is that? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so I've never seen both of those movies. So will I buy that again? Yes, I will. But because I didn't buy, I didn't have never seen those movies and I haven't like come to love those movies yet. Would I buy them again? Yes, but I'm going to rate it probably a 6 out of 10 because it's not the one. I'm not familiar with the characters. Does that make sense? Okay. 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 So we got two more to open two more how are y'all feeling are y'all be like bitch get this over with <laughs> that would be I <clears throat> so i'm trying to go as fast as i can okay this is cute so you can like zip it Isn't that cute? hey stop it don't be mean they can play rude ass old bitch Duke, no. Leave him alone. Okay. 
Oh, this is from, I think, the, like, the Mickey and Friends. I don't know what her name is, but it's the little cow. Why am I shaking? I don't know hey! Okay, who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Oh, we got a Goofy. In the little, looks like a, the Martian, Marvin the Martian hat. Um, okay, so last but not least, we got the magical Mixie, Mixie, Mixie Moo, whatever it is. Okay. So yesterday I got a freaking water one. Love it, but I hate water toys. Like, I just, I can't. Just, I have like this fear of like mold. Like, I, even if you dry them out, like, I'm terrified. Okay, not a water toy because this is a wand and it's actually like hard. Okay. Oh my god, he's cute. He is super cute. What is he? What do you do? Hey! Okay, so I don't know what you do. Okay. Let's find out who he is. Well, he's none of those. Oh, he's a spellcaster. Okay. And he is Geckler? Shining Star? Is he a rare one? Oh my god, I think those are rare. He is. I am, like, getting lucky with these rare ones. So, he glows in the dark? Yes. Change their glow to cast their spell. Cute. Cute. That is it, people. That is it. I'm in love with some of these and not so much of the other ones. Okay. Anyways, thank you for sticking around. I know this is only a 30. This is almost a 30. Hey, stop growling, please. 30 minute video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Thank you for listening to my mouth run. I have some lovable ones. I have some hatred ones. I gave you a rank. Oh, the magic mixy cues. Yes, I would buy them again and I would probably rank them out. Honestly, probably an eight or a nine. I wouldn't say a full 10, but an 8 or a 9. But these are cute. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.